celebration all day. Celebration all day, but Chris, being Canadian mm -hmm. and seeing a title finally in this country uh, it must make things so much special. It means a lot, um, you know, just for, doing for the country, uh, only Canadian on the team, it means a lot for me. And um, I'm just proud that we got the chance to, you know, bring that to the fans. Uh, they've been supporting us the whole day, so. You know, it's a special day today. And talk about your journey because preseason, you were all the talk. Jamma was saying this is the one guy you got to look out for. Nick Nurse was saying this is the one guy we got to look out for. Talk about your mindset heading into this season, your preparation to get to this point and really show and prove what a boy from Quebec can do. Um, I just wanted to show what a boy could do, honestly. You said it better. Um, I've been working a long time. You know, I've been to ups and downs, but you know, I just wanted to show what I was capable of doing. And, Coming back to my country and being able to do it in front of Canadians, it meant a lot for me. So I just want to go out from there and obviously enjoy this celebration with everybody. And so many questions about this team. Obviously, Kawhi coming, DeMar going, then you get Marcus All at trade deadline. Lots of people uh, not necessarily doubting this team, but not necessarily knowing what to expect from this group. You guys stayed the course. Talk to me about the brotherhood in this locker room. Uh, we all knew that we were going to work together. And you know? obviously, um, with the trade and the injuries and all that, we had to find a way to make it work. But it's a long season, and I think everybody here like knew that we were going to the war together. And um, that's one thing that I said about this team: we all got hard and we all play for each other. So we end up winning, and um, you know, hopefully, we can keep it going. And you got those minutes in that Bucks series. The postseason, a completely different beast. What did this teach you about Chris Boucher, the man? Um, I've came a long way, and. Um, Obviously, you know, I'm not done yet, but I know that I have a bright future and um, I just want to show what I'm capable of doing. Uh, one Canadian on the team, on the Canadian team, you can't ask for more. Future is bright in Canada, wouldn't you say, when it comes to this landscape of basketball? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we got a ton of kids and, you know, I'm trying to do my part. I said, I've been the kids and, you know, I did my own team. I just want them to, you know, have a chance just like I had one. And I'm looking at your mom right here. When you talk about sacrifice and really this taking a village, how special is this to make her proud? Feels good, you know, having my mom here. Um, when I was, I've been gone for a while, and I went to New Mexico, Wyoming, Oregon, Cali, but I've never been home. So being home with my mom is a special moment, and we're just trying to enjoy it the most as we can. Well, you also made a stop in Vegas, so are you gonna tell me what happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas, or you gonna spill the tea? <coughs> I saw the videos, Chris. Yeah, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. All right, congratulations. Continue on with your celebration. <laughs> Chris Boucher grew up playing soccer and hockey, as you see Drake again, but in Montreal, in the Montreal neighborhood. Dropped out of high school at age 16. Worked